Hi everyone, welcome to the 12th annual Sandra K. Russell Derby Day Benefit for Mito. My name is Darren Swisher, I've bartended in Boston for the past 15 years, and I'm here today to walk you through making a uh, mint julep with uh, Four Roses. We're going to be using uh, Four Roses single barrel today to make the cocktail. Uh, the julep is actually one of my favorite drinks. I really love it because when you make it right, it just has so many layers to it. It's one of those drinks that's delicious, right from the moment that you finish preparing it, and a drink that you can also sit with for a really long time. And when you use as fantastic a whiskey as uh, Four Roses, it just opens up all sorts of layers and flavors to it. Um, and it's something really, really special. Uh, the Julep is actually one of the oldest cocktails um, in existence. It uh, really predates what is thought to be the original cocktail, which is the Old Fashioned. And uh, along with another classic called uh, the Cobbler, is uh, the main reason that actually ice is used in drinks. And ice was uh, popular for, uh, for mixing cocktails uh, to begin with. Um, so Four Roses um, is one of my favorite whiskey brands. I think the single barrel in particular represents a really great value. Um, it's hard to find good, affordable single barrel whiskeys these days, um, but Four Roses um, is still one of my go-tos um, for that. Uh, a lot of you might not be familiar with the brand. Um, it is a really old story brand. Um, it was purchased by Seagram's in the middle of the last century um, and they actually stopped producing uh, and selling a bourbon in the United States and pivoted towards uh, a blended whiskey under the Four Roses label. Um, and in fact, um, in the original Rocky movie, uh, Polly is drinking uh, Four Roses' um, yellow label out of a flask he keeps in his coat. Um, and it was really known kind of just as a blended whiskey from there. Um, it was still sold uh, as an export of, uh, as a bourbon, um, but wasn't available as just a straight bourbon whiskey in the United States for a number of years. So as a modern bourbon brand, it's actually considerably, sub like fairly new still. Um, it was reintroduced as a bourbon brand in the United States in 2002. And the Four Roses Single Barrel was released for the first time in the United States in 2004. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a julep. Uh, a few things that we're gonna need for this, we're gonna need uh, a heavy sugar syrup. Um, we're using a two to one Demerara sugar. Um, I really like Demerara sugar with dark barrel aged spirits like whiskeys. Um, I think it just represents, it has a nice kind of basey quality to it, adds a lot of nice body to it, plays really nicely with the whiskey. But if you have just normal cane sugar, something like that at home, that works too. Uh, for this one, we're doing actually two parts sugar to one part water, so it's a little bit more sugar than your average simple syrup, but because the drink, we're going to be adding so much ice, and it's designed to sit for so long, it really needs a little bit of that extra sugar to give it some nice body and give it that sort of strength to stand up to all of the ice over time. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our julep cup, we're going to grab a nice pinch of mint leaves. These leaves are great, but on a little bit on the smaller side, so if you have really big fresh mint leaves, Maybe you're gonna to wanna to use about eight to 10. I probably got about 15 to 20 leaves right here. What we're gonna do is really, really gently start to rub the inside of the cup down just to start to release some of the aromatics of the mint and then drop that in the bottom. I'm gonna grab our sugar syrup here. Gonna do just under half an ounce. Add that in. And then we're gonna grab a muddler or if you have a spoon or a chopstick or anything else at home. What we're gonna do is very, very gently just turn and press the mint just to start to break it down just a little bit to release a little bit more of those oils into the sugar syrup itself. You wanna be gentle with it and not get really aggressive because the structure of the mint actually is really bitter and vegetal. So if you really start to beat up the mint, you're gonna release a lot of compounds that aren't gonna be super flavorful for the cocktail. So we're gonna do two and a quarter ounces of whiskey the original standard recipe actually from Jerry Thomas, which was widely used in the 1800s, actually calls for three full ounces of whiskey, which is a pretty strong drink and this certainly is a stronger cocktail. Um, we're gonna, gonna do two and a quarter ounces. Feel free to scale that up or down for your own personal preference at home. But like I said, this is a drink that's meant to be savored over a long period of time. Um, so I think two and a quarter ounces of whiskey is not um, two over the top. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna crush some ice. So there's a few different ways you can do this. Got a really fun hand crank ice crusher right here. I've got a vintage electric ice crusher. And then also we're just gonna use something that's called a Lewis bag. And you basically can either use this, it's basically just a burlap sack, or you can use a nice strong tea towel, or even a Ziploc bag at home. And then what you're gonna do is basically just beat it up. And Looking. Well, a little more. All right. 
right? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to add our ice in a couple of stages here and just make sure it starts to melt and incorporate with the sugar and the mint and the whiskey in the glass. So we're going to add a little bit in and then we're just going to take a spoon here and just start to make sure that it sort of melts in. And I don't know if we can see that there. It's basically just starting to melt a little bit, help chill the whole drink down, open up that whiskey and sugar and mint. I'm going to add a little bit more ice. And just gonna keep going, topping it off a little bit, making sure everything's incorporated. I'm gonna pack this down on top here, make a nice little kind of dome of ice. Gonna take a big bunch, some nice beautiful mint tops. Just gonna cut the bottoms real quick so we can put them in there. And take a nice compostable straw. And then we're gonna put the mint right in next to the straw because you want all the aromatics of the mint to basically hit you while you're drinking the cocktail and reinforce all those mint notes of the mint that's inside there. So there you have it. Two and a quarter ounces of Four Roses single barrel, half ounce of Demerara syrup, whole bunch of mint leaves and some ice, a Four Roses single barrel mint julep, the official cocktail of the Kentucky Derby. Cheers. Beautiful, Darren.